everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. I'm Kirsten and in today's video we are going to be talking about something I'm super excited about. We are going to be talking about my 23 favorite beauty YouTubers. So I watch a few different categories of YouTube but today we're just going to be focusing on the ones that post about beauty topics. So makeup, skincare, hair care, that kind of thing. And yeah, I think I've got about 23 like I mentioned but none of these are in any particular order. And just because someone's not on this list doesn't mean that I don't occasionally watch them. But these 23 people are the people that I watch all, if not all, like almost all of their uploads and I love them. So I do have some notes on why I love them. And so my goal of this video is for you guys to find new favorite channels. So I hope that that's what this does for you. I had never seen anyone make this video before, but I did just look it up on YouTube and I have seen... A lot of videos that I have saved to my watch later because I want to find new channels to watch too. But yeah, I hope that this video gives you guys some new people to subscribe to. But speaking of subscribing, if you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up because I am going to be kind of posting a part two to this video where we're going to talk about my favorite YouTubers that are not in the beauty space. So we're going to be talking about things, um, videos about DIY, home improvement, furniture flipping, lifestyle, um, booktube. So we're just gonna be talking about some more YouTubers that aren't necessarily in the beauty world. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into my favorite 23 beauty YouTubers. I had to put someone at number one and it felt only right to put Emily from Emily's Makeup Bag. And there's a very specific reason why, because I used to just watch kind of the main YouTubers, the ones that have like really big platforms that a lot of people watch. And I really got into watching kind of smaller channels because I felt like the creators were a little bit more personable and I just felt like I kind of trusted their opinion a little bit more as well because they're not being sent millions of products a year, you know? So Emily is one of the first channels that I found on YouTube that has a smaller platform and it should have a larger platform because she's amazing, but she's, she's building it and it will be there one day. But Emily just truly feels like a friend. When you're sitting down watching her videos, she just feels like you're talking to a friend and I just really relate to her and I really love that about her channel. I also love her makeup style and her makeup looks. So I like to watch people that have a similar makeup style to me, but I actually feel like Emily's is a little bit different. She wears a little bit more of like a deeper bronzer and we have very similar skin tones. She also wears a lot more bold eyeshadow than I do. And I just feel like watching her videos just inspires me to kind of step out of my personal comfort zone, which I like to do every now and then. Something else that I love about Emily's channel is that her videos are a good ratio of like get ready with me, sit down videos, unboxing. It's just the perfect ratio. If that makes any sense, like I don't want to sit and watch someone's channel typically that like only does one style of video. I really like that she kind of dabbles in different areas. So those are some things that I love about Emily's channel. I do think that you guys would love her channel if you like anything that I post and I will leave all of these people's channels and most recent videos linked down below so that you guys can go subscribe to them as well and support their channels. But we've got 22 other people to talk about so let's just keep the ball rolling here. So the next one is Kelly Gooch. I love her channel. So her makeup style, again, is just something that I find very unique, actually, in this beauty space, I suppose, and it's hard to explain. But the one thing I can explain is that I felt really intimidated by wearing colorful eyeshadow. And about a year ago, I was watching one of Kelly's videos and I noticed that she mentioned, and I cannot remember which video she mentioned this in, but she mentioned that she only wears the colorful shades like on her lid and she doesn't bring them up into the crease. And that just like opened up the colorful world of eyeshadow to me, which how did I not think about that? But it really has made wearing color for me a lot more approachable, which I really enjoy, especially now with like my pastel palettes that I've been obsessed with and I won't shut up about, but I just really love her makeup style. I also really love her upload schedule. I don't ever miss an upload from her or Emily for that matter. Um, in this video, I will also be mentioning things that I kind of wish that they would do differently or just like I wish that they would create this video or something like that. And while Kelly's deep dive videos are very informative, I don't love all of them because it's kind of sad to me. And I guess when I watch YouTube and specifically makeup videos, I don't want to like think about the bad parts. And that's just like a personal thing because I guess 
YouTube and um, like makeup is kind of like my escape from, you know, bad news or a bad day or whatever. But considering like who, which brand will fail next is just not really the content that I like to watch, but I can see why she makes the videos. So I did just want to mention that, but her, like all of the other videos, I watch all of them and I watch the deep dive ones anyways, but I just miss her more like tutorial videos more often. I hope that makes sense. And I'm not trying to like bash anyone's video creation, content creation, anything like that. I love all of these people's channels. That's why I'm mentioning them in today's video, but that's just a critique from one person. Number three is Sarah Rose, and she is the first YouTuber that I found with like a smaller platform. Her channel really got me into like looking up and trying to find more like newer channels um, that might have a few less subscribers. And I, I really like that. And I don't want to say that like it's a negative. I love watching people with smaller channels because like I said, they just feel more personable and I just love watching their videos. Her project pan and beauty budget videos are some of my favorites that she makes, but in general, again, I just love her content. Number four, we've got Mandy Leah. And I, I just think that she has a very unique take on makeup. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. I'm going to try to explain all of this as best as I can, but she is so like diligent with her reviews. And, and I also think that with her, I'm not always watching her videos for like her makeup style because ours are very similar. So I'm not really like going out of my comfort zone by watching some of her makeup style videos, but it's just like the way that she creates content. Like she's a very approachable, she's very calming. I feel very calm when I watch her videos and I just love like her editing style. Like she's kind of um, uses like circus music sometimes. I don't know. I just really love her videos. And also she, like I said, she makes really diligent reviews and I really like that. So that's just um, another another YouTuber or content creator that I really love. One critique that I do have about Mandy Leah's channel, um, and it's very minor and I don't know how, how like she could fix it, but some of her videos, there's like a white noise on her camera, like really, like sometimes can overpower her voice. And those videos, sometimes I can't pay attention to anything other than the white noise. And that's a me thing. Like if one little thing is kind of, standing out at me sometimes I can't notice the rest of it and so while the majority of her videos I don't have that like th happen I guess there are some that I just I can't watch because of that I don't know that's just me but let me know if you guys have ever noticed that as well next up is Angelica Nictivis I really hope that I said that right I my former last name is very hard to pronounce so I'm very sorry if I mispronounced that but in general, Angelica's colorful looks inspire me as well as many other people in this world, but they're just so beautiful. I love her review. She's very honest in my opinion, and I just love her colorful look. I would never think to create the looks that she creates, but when I see them on her, it just makes me want to go and kind of mimic that with different colors that are similar to hers. So I just really love that aspect of just sparking my creativity when I watch her channel. She also is just seems very sweet and down to earth. Next up is Glam by Sam and I am a new-ish subscriber to her channel but I actually found her through Instagram first and I love her Instagram page and I went over and subscribed to her on YouTube and I just love her content. She has the most endearing and calming voice to her and I just like her content. Her content is a little bit um, shorter videos usually, and it's just really straight to the point. It keeps your attention, and I really enjoy watching them. Her background is pink and lovely, and all of her pictures and on her Instagram have like a pink theme to them usually, which I just love. Next up, we have Leora Makeup Loves 52. I just know her as Leora, but that is her YouTube name. And like I said, all these will be linked down below. But she just feels like a big sister to me. I don't know if any of you guys feel like that if you've watched her channel. But I think she lives in New Jersey. It's in New York or New Jersey. I think it's New Jersey. And she does a lot of um, TJ Maxx shopping videos. And I love those. But just in general, her sit down videos. She has like, I think she had a story time recently. Um, it's just really fun to watch. And I like the way that she has her beauty room set up. And watching her like go through all her makeup drawers is just like fun. I don't know. I love those kind of videos. And she has a bigger channel, but it doesn't really feel like it. Like she just keeps it very down to earth, which is, in my opinion, cannot be said about everyone whose channel grows tremendously. Next up is 
in the beauty world, my number one like OG favorite YouTuber. And it's because I've watched her for so long and that is Kathleen Lights. So when I first started watching YouTube videos, there was one and I will not mention her in this video because she's not a beauty YouTuber per se, but other than her, Kathleen Lights is the first person I started to watch like religiously like every single video from. Kathleen is Cuban and she lives in Miami and she posts every now and then like some Spanish videos and I do speak Spanish and so I love to watch those videos from her. They just crack me up like sometimes I'll watch those videos three times in a row when she started posting those it just like really solidified how much I love her channel. So yeah I don't know I could just talk about her all day but I love her channel. She's awesome. And yeah, she is, it's just kind of fun to like think back on it. Like I have been watching her video for her videos for so many years and I still like her channel, which I cannot say that about everyone. Like there are some people that I used to love watching that I just don't watch anymore. And I just kind of like, am not interested in their videos anymore. Or maybe I kind of got like tired of their style. Anything can happen, but I don't watch every single one of Kathleen Lights' videos anymore but I do watch the majority of them. Next up, we have Lola Liner and y'all, this girl, if I'm in a makeup rut, I go to her page and she pulls me out of it. She is so creative. I love that she uses one product for something that it's like not intended for. Like she will use, I can't even think of, I think the first time that I like really, she pulled me out of a makeup rut was she used like a liquid lipstick as an eyeshadow. And I just don't really think to do that usually. Like I usually think, oh, the lipstick is for lips eyeshadows for your eyes like I usually don't mix the things and her looks are just so nice I love her Instagram page as well as her YouTube channel and yeah she's just super inspiring again you kind of realize a common denominator here and a theme in the channels that I like I like people that just inspire me or that I feel like I'm talking to a friend like that those two are like my favorites also honesty I don't like when I feel like someone's pushing a product onto me that they don't genuinely love so those are the three things that are super important to me. Next up, we have number 10, Tatiana Anissa. <sighs> this girl is so beautiful. Like she is just so pretty. And I don't know, like, like I said, everyone on this, on this list is just gorgeous, but I just love her complexion. Like her skin is just so nice. I just, yeah, she's super pretty, but her personality is so bubbly and fun to watch. And she just is like, gets so excited and like into makeup, which I can obviously relate to. And so I love watching her videos from that. I also love her ColourPop videos. Her makeup vanity is so cool. I love how the top of her desk is like glass and you can see her makeup in it. I would never keep my makeup collection like organized enough for that. Like I would always feel like I needed to like go readjust things, but looking at hers, is gorgeous and I just really love her content she just seems super genuine she's also very inclusive like she always mentions when she has a product who she thinks that it would benefit and if a product range is actually inclusive or not and I do appreciate that because I am on the very very light end of the spectrum but I also realize that there is a very deep end of the spectrum and sometimes both of those are missed especially the deeper end of the skin tone spectrum I guess and it's just really disappointing when companies do that. So I love when YouTubers like or content creators point that out. And she's really good about that. Next up, we have Franny's look. And I found her through her decluttering videos. And those are like the majority of her videos that I have watched. But just in general, she is just fun to watch. Again, the makeup content is just my favorite. And so another YouTuber that has great makeup content. Next up, we have Jennifer Chang, and I have been watching her for about three years now. I found her through her LASIK video, and I actually ended up getting LASIK surgery shortly after that video. I scheduled mine, and I believe I got mine from the same place that she got hers done, and I just fell in love with her channel from then. I realized that she posted makeup videos, and I was hooked ever since, so I have been watching hers for quite a while. And I love her style of makeup. She will start to do a look. And to be honest, sometimes when she starts, I'm like, where is she going with this? And then by the end of it, I love it. So she also does colorful looks, very creative looks. She does some sort of like Halloween-y kind of looks around that time of year. But again, just in general, her content is very unique. Um, I love her videos as well about colored contacts. I've been wanting to try some of those. 
So those are some of my favorite videos. Next up, number 13, we have my sweet friend Hannah and her channel username is Hannah H. I've mentioned her on my channel before. I decluttered some products to her that she tried out in a video and she just recently created her channel. So I will definitely, again, leave her link down below, but she just has the most sweet personality. I love to watch her videos and I need her to make more. So Hannah, if you're watching this, make some more videos because you need to make like 18 a week, okay? Um, yeah, but Hannah, again, is just gorgeous and she doesn't even know it, okay? Like I tell her all the time and I just don't think that she like is listening to me, but her, I can't explain it, okay? Like she has the nice, <laughs> this is gonna sound super weird, but I notice like weird things about people, I guess, because I'm staring at their face for hours throughout all of their videos. Um, but Hannah's cheekbones like just make me jealous a little bit. Like her cheeks are just like really full. Like she's got like, you know, like the apples of her cheeks, like they could be apples. Okay. Like I love her cheeks. I don't know if that's a weird compliment, but I just think she's super pretty. And um, yeah, her videos are just really fun to watch. She is just so stinking cute. Next up, we have Jessica Braun. She's got a very fresh makeup style, I would say. And I just really like her videos. I think she's pretty chill. I like the format of her videos. She never seems to like sell you products. Like she'll tell you if she likes them and she's got tons of favorites videos. She's got a lot of like lifestyle videos too. But as far as her makeup content goes, like she's removed herself from a lot of PR lists, which I think is actually pretty beneficial for someone of that like size channel. And so I really like that. But I do have a kind of critique about her channel as well. Um, she like will post a video and I'll see it on my subscriptions list. And then she will repost it with a caption like, here's my newest post. Like, did you check this one out? Like two or three times and I find that like frustrating because when I'm scrolling through my subscriptions I will see hers and I'll think she posted a new one and then I realize it's the one that I already watched and that will happen like two or three times per video so I personally just find it kind of frustrating but I see that she wants like more people to see it but I personally don't like that. Next up we have Judy. I feel like everyone loves Judy's channel, but if you've never heard of her, she is so cute. She lives in New Zealand, I believe, and she is the ColourPop queen. Like, she posts everything about ColourPop. I think she gets almost all, if not all, of their collections. Her videos are just so helpful because ColourPop launches a new palette, like, every other day or something, and so it can get really overwhelming. I don't- I wish I didn't want to purchase from ColourPop because, honestly, I don't want half my collection to be ColourPop. But every now and then there's something that really catches my attention and so I usually will wait watch her video and see her compare it to other palettes make sure that I don't already own the dupes to it and I just find that to be like really helpful uh, also her new project pan series is awesome and I love watching her like top drawer videos and she just posted a like makeup organization for a beauty room which was also super fun to watch so just in general again she seems super down to earth I could say kind of the same things about all of these people. I hope that that's like coming across because I watch these people because this is like my preference and what I enjoy. So if I'm suggesting five people that you do watch, I think that you probably like everyone else on this list. So that's kind of why I'm making this video to hopefully give you guys some more channels to watch um, because I do think that they're all awesome. So let's move on to number 16. We are almost there and it is Makeup by Trines. So what is her first name? Katrina, right? Yeah, okay. I just totally blanked. So the next channel is Makeup by Trines or Katrina and I love her videos. She's kind of similar to Judy. She posts a lot of ColourPop videos, which again are just super helpful. She has a deeper skin tone than Judy, so it's nice to see it on two different skin tones as well as just looking up any ColourPop palette or launch from anyone else. But those two people just post a lot of ColourPop, which is super helpful. Um, again, she has really unique looks. I also really like to watch her videos because she has a very warm skin tone and I don't, I have more of like a neutral to cool tone skin tone. And I'm also a lot more fair skinned than she is, but I just find it interesting to see like how different people apply their makeup. Um, based on your skin tone or your undertones because hers, like I said, is super warm toned. So sometimes she pairs colors together that I wouldn't think to do that with. And so again, inspiring to me out of my comfort zone. So again, we're using all the same kind of descriptions. So 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize this video was going to end up like this, but it is. Next we have Soph Does Life. I love Soph, okay? She is from the UK and I just, that's my favorite accent. She just has a gorgeous voice and her, again, her makeup style is super bold, super bright. I'm noticing like I watch a lot of people that wear colorful looks and that have more bold choices in their eyeshadow and they usually don't wear that like day to day. Like today is pretty neutral. But it's just so fun to watch people that wear makeup differently than you do. And so that's definitely why I love her channel. She's also really good at reviewing stuff. I love her Q&As. I also love her like testing TikTok stuff, um, te testing like viral TikTok um, products or application practices. I don't know. She just, again, seems super down to earth. Really love her channel. Hers is a bigger channel, so you've, you might have heard of it, as well as a lot of other of these people. Like, you've probably heard of them before. So, next up, we have Jasmine Airedale, and I'll be really honest, I'm a lot newer to her channel, but she, everything that I've seen so far has just been really relaxing, and I've really been liking her review videos. So, I've looked up a couple of, of reviews and ended up watching her video, and she just seems very thorough, and that she's being, again, genuine with her reviews. And so I've really been enjoying her channel as well. Next up is Ashley Rebecca. She is from Florida, I believe, or at least that's where she goes to school or something. So her collection is actually pretty similar to mine in size and style, as well as her makeup style is pretty similar to mine. So I actually do enjoy watching her for that reason, which for a lot of these people, I like to watch them because they're more colorful, like maybe a little bit more inspiring. She's super big on like cream products and like more natural makeup. So again, I just, I like her style of makeup and I like the videos that she makes about it. Next up, we have Andrea Matiliano. I don't watch every single one of her uploads, just want to be transparent with you guys, but I do like her channel. I love her decluttering videos. I like her like overhead shot where you can just look at all the products. It's just, I don't know, entertaining for me, I guess. And she, one thing that I have noticed though is that, and this might just be because I don't watch all of her videos, but just I watch many of them, is that she always mentions, I love this for a natural makeup day, but I never see her in natural makeup. And I wish that she would make more videos in natural makeup because she's usually wearing a full face of makeup with a lot of colorful eyeshadow. And I would find it entertaining to watch her make more natural content every now and then. Maybe just like sprinkled in her channel, not all the time. Next up, we have Allie Glines. Now, Allie Glines used to be my like number one favorite YouTuber, but I honestly have not been watching every single one of her uploads lately like I used to. So again, I just wanna be transparent with you guys, but she seems nice. Um, I love her makeup style. She's super pretty again, and all of her makeup techniques are some that I really follow. And she's one of the people that kind of taught me how to wear makeup um, in a preference that I like or in a style that I like. But um, sometimes I think that her videos lately have seemed like repetitive to me or the um, like, I can't believe this, right? It's like the shock factor where I don't really, I'm not appealed to that kind of um, like tactic of a thumbnail, if that makes any sense. So I think that's kind of been like turning me off of her channel just a little bit but she still is on this list because I have seen so many of her videos and I really like the style of makeup. Yeah, again, she has a bigger channel so you might have heard of her. It's hard for me to like critique people, I'm noticing, because you guys might not agree, which is fine. Like everyone can have their own things, but I don't wanna be like mean about anyone's channel. So one other thing that I would say about her channel is that sometimes like she says like genuinely a lot or honestly like those kind of words, and in, with anyone's channel, when someone says that, I don't believe them as much. I don't know if that's just me, but I guess it's just one of those things that I like notice, but I don't really purchase only on her recommendation as much anymore. And I don't really have any reason not to. I don't want to put that out there. It's just those like keywords kind of turn me off a little bit. I hope that's okay to say. I'm not trying to make this video controversial. I just want you guys to find some new channels. <laughs> All right, next up we have Mia Maples and I put her on this list. You will see her in the next video because you guys know she makes videos about every single topic imaginable and I love that but I love her beauty videos just as much as all the other ones that she posts. I think she's the only person that is going to pop up on all of the kind of like categories of YouTube that I like to watch. 
I just really love her channel. So first of all, she just seems like one of the most genuine people I've ever watched. Like she just seems so wholesome and her family seems so sweet. And I know like no one is perfect. No one's family is perfect, but I don't know how to word it. Like her family just seems like so sweet and I just love watching all of them, especially, I know I should be just talking about her makeup videos, but like her and her mom are just so cute together. Um, so I love her transforming videos, like where she will transform herself into blank. I think she did like a kawaii girl, an e-girl, like stuff like that. I love those videos. And I also love her like TikTok makeup videos again that she's been posting recently. I just love every single video that she posts. I watch all of them. So the last one at number 23, and obviously not like last as in my least favorite. Again, these are not in any order at all. Um, but is Taylor Wynn. And I like a lot of people love her Foundation Friday videos and just in general her complexion product videos because she has super fair skin like myself. And so I find it super beneficial to watch her videos to find out if a shade range is actually going to include my skin tone because um, even like today, this is the Catrice foundation I'm wearing and I had to blend it down because it is a hair too dark for me. And it's just sometimes hard to find a foundation light enough to kind of suit my skin tone. So I really enjoy watching her videos because of that. I also can understand, not understand, but I can relate to some of the health problems that she speaks about because I have really bad migraines. And so watching her s still like pursue and be a hard worker while having this pain really does encourage me and inspire me to try and push through my pain as well as like find a solution for it and, you know, kind of work around it because I do have those really bad migraines. And so I really find her inspiring in that way. Um, she also seems really laid back and her reviews again seem very honest. So those are all positives for me. Yeah, but that is the end of all of the 23, was it? I already forgot. Yeah, those are all of the 23 of my favorite YouTubers. Again, I probably like forgot someone, but I did try and make a pretty cumulative list here. Um, yeah, I would recommend any one of these channels to you guys. If what I said matches your preference, I love all of these people, all of their channels. I just think that they're very entertaining. Um, yeah, so if you guys have a favorite YouTuber that I did not mention today, please go ahead and leave their name or channel down below because I would really love to find some more YouTubers to watch. I watch YouTube like it's TV, okay? I don't watch TV. We don't even have cable. I'm not interested, I guess, in watching TV. Like, we'll watch a couple of TV shows, but YouTube is my TV. So I watch all of these people's videos like seriously i watch a lot of youtube okay <laughs> um yeah so i hope that the critiques that i made today are um helpful for you guys to kind of see that i i'm not going to come on here and say like i love every single thing about every one of their channels but just in general, I do really love their channels. So I hope that that is helpful for you guys. But all right, you guys, if you liked today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because part two of this video will be coming up next week. And I cannot wait to share my other favorite YouTubers with you guys that are not in this beauty realm. The categories that will be in part two of this video will be YouTubers or content creators from lifestyle, DIY slash furniture flipping, and booktube. So those are the channels that I'll be sharing with you guys next week. And I've got, again, about another 20 people to talk to you guys about. And I'm super excited to do that because these are just people that I enjoy watching. So I'm very happy to talk about them with you guys. And I just feel like this is a way that we can all get to know each other a little bit better because you can let me know who your favorites are too. And I'm just super excited to talk to you guys about that. So I will see you in the next video. But with that being said, that's it for me today. Bye.